I do clean my table with a mix of On Guard Concentrate Cleaner and water. Sometimes I'll add some different scents just for a different smell, but I feel like that helps boost immunity, keep the table clean, uh, keep us all away from, you know, Clorox and that kind of stuff. So that's a really nice one. Back to the diffuser though. So the diffuser I keep going all the time in my room and it's just a nice way to affect those who maybe aren't as open to using them. So I always, always, always ask if I can put an oil on a patient and obviously you build relationships with them and you start to learn who likes them and who doesn't. I don't think I've ever had anyone say no, but I just feel like it's a nice thing to ask, right? And I'll, if it's a uh, turmeric that I really want to put on them, I ask like, do you want to smell this first to make sure you're, you're okay with the scent? Uh, and they, I think they really appreciate that. I have found that I get this question a lot if I have like different blends t for sale. And I know I started off with my business having the recovery blend. I, I feel like people don't buy the pre-made blends as much as just, sorry, not the pre-made. They don't buy the blends that I make as much as they buy just what doTERRA has to offer. Maybe they wanna make their own blends or use it in a diffuser as well or in the bathtub, that kind of stuff. So I, I have two sitting here. I have one for sleep, one for muscles and joints. And I actually have a third one up here for adrenal support. Um, but those don't, I still use the oils with patients, but uh, they don't necessarily sell a ton per se. And I will say that as I'm, uh, you know, talking to patients about how they can get the oils, I don't have a ton of retail on hand because I would prefer to send them to someone on my team to guide them through that process. So in the beginning, I used to uh, do it all myself, but what I found was, I actually found people were signing up um, because of almost like white coat syndrome because I said so, and then I found out later that they didn't really love them or they just weren't really interested. And I don't want that. I don't, I don't want commission from a sale just because someone purchased because I said so. So I really, enjoy having that separation so giving them that next step so that they can think about it they don't feel bad about saying no to me uh, so I have two people on my team two to three people on my team that I will refer them or connect them to and they will then uh, educate this is how you could buy retail this is how you can buy wholesale and what's really cool about that too is they are I am no longer the the go-to for um, ordering questions or promos or anything like that. It keeps our time together in the office to be more patient care. Um, we still talk about oils, but it's not the back end stuff. Cause I don't like, you know, people, patients are paying cash out of pocket and I just want to give them the physical therapy focus and not hey, how do I log into my account, something like that. So it's been nice keeping that separation. Um, and I know it's, I did a meeting with a bunch of other physical therapists in different states, and I think there's some different states legally that it's good to have that separation anyways, rather than the direct practitioner uh, being the one to sign them up. So that's something to definitely look at in your practice to see if that is um, relevant to where you are. But what else? So those are the main, those are the main reasons or ways that I use them in the office. If someone wants to buy, I have a system. If they want to just buy retail, then that's fine. I have some just sitting here on my shelf for them to purchase if they want it. I educate them how to use it. I have different resources through my team. Uh, just try to keep it super simple or if they want to dive, dive in deep, they can. Um, and then we can kind of go from there. But it's just been such an amazing um, 
For me, I like to see about five to six patients a day. And you know, there's back end stuff, admin, um, all of that to owning a business. But to be able to have a side thing where I can go teach an essential oils class, essential oils and organs, um, tie the oils in with my passion and be able to help people in a different way is has been really amazing and I love doing that it gives me a different environment where I can uh, just speak a little bit more openly and be that resource for patient for people who are um, joining me in those workshops and um, the other thing I will say is I always uh, with my patients, we, as a physical therapist, cannot, we're not supposed to be recommending internal supplementation medication. Again, this varies state to state, but I steer away for the most part from any internal recommendation. I stick with topical and diffusing. And this is, you know, just to stay within my scope of practice, but also I see a lot of patients who are already seeing, who are already working with medical doctors and I find that, you know, when someone comes in to see you on a ton of medication, I, there's just so many benefits to the topical and aromatic. I find that once people kind of wind down on the medication or get that a little more settled, then they can dive more into the internal. But I find that other doctors appreciate uh, when their patients aren't given this long list of internal stuff. So when I do refer to uh, people on my team um, I will just let them know that like hey let's start with some diffusing let's clean up their candles and that kind of stuff or their cleaning products and topical and dive deeper into the internal if, if they're really interested in it in that way so lots of different options with that but if you have any questions uh, please feel free to email me, Dr. Missy at stayinvincible.com. And yeah, I just, I hope that it would be awesome if everyone incorporated these into their clinic because it's just been such a powerful tool to, you know, you get people who are so stressed because they're injured. Uh, they can't do the sport that they normally can do. They have to miss a race. So it's so nice to give them calming things in the moment and just that hope as they're on this healing journey, you you and I both know that they're not gonna get there tomorrow. So how can we use these essential oils as tools to help support their journey? So it's pretty awesome. All right, have fun oiling the world and let me know if you have any questions.